Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your love reading for the week of September 4th through September 10th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these three times with a bridge. I'm just going to shuffle them a little bit right now. Um, this may or may not pertain to you as it's for thousands of people. So, you know, I, there's no way I could possibly read every single person. So... Let's see what happens. This is for Gemini, September 4th through the 10th. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's also about taking action. Natural born leader. Acting on your hunches. doing the right thing for you. Maybe you're thinking about starting something new and exciting. Maybe you're having a lot of excitement in your life this week. You could have uh, that fire sign I just mentioned. You could have a Libra. You could have a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces as well. I do see some petty conflict though, like some petty arguments. So I'm not sure what that's about, but I also see something new and exciting at the end of the week. So let's keep going. Be careful. When this card comes up, be careful. What you own owns you. Okay, this is about choices. Where you choose to focus your energy. Do you focus it on love or do you focus it on your possessions and making money to get those possessions? Or if there's a decision that you need to make, you just consider this. Be careful. Because what you own owns you. If it's regarding another person, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, be careful. You know, be careful. Think twice. Grass isn't always greener on the other side. Okay? Now we have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Now when you see King and Queen, if some of you don't know, that, know this, if you're new to tarot, it can be a man or a woman. So this is a man or a woman, and this is a man or a woman. Alright? Because they're court cards. It's the energy of somebody who is mature and accomplished. Alright? This is a man or a woman. Um, either way, um, you are about to come to justice about something. I want to get the rest of the cards before I keep going. I tend to talk without dealing the cards, so I want to get them dealt out. And then I'm going to zoom it in. <laughs> reverse. I don't do reverse. I can do reverse. I don't feel the need to do reverse because the, my messages come within come from within they don't come from the cards the cards are a tool that help me to get the message okay not like other tarot readers a lot of them do read from the heart but a lot of them read mostly from the cards okay i'm not that tarot reader um so that's it anyway i do see that you're feeling very secure at home so this is a great week i think that your home is feel feeling very family-like you know just a very secure family life at home which is great I think there's a lot of balance this this week. Um, there's not a lot of chaos. That's, that's great. I think that there's excitement, and I think there's excitement over another person. You may have a love interest that is causing you a lot of attraction and excitement and um, enthusiasm. You know, and you're contemplating on what to do. I think that's what it is. You may all of a sudden have this new welling of emotion for somebody, and you're you're contemplating about it. Um, but the justice card up there, it's just about making a decision, something about doing the right thing for you, you know, putting yourself first and doing the right thing for you. Um, it's also about karma. All right. Justice card is also about karma. We also have here, this is the knight of swords. You have all the signs here, so it really could be any sign, but this right here is, um, fast moving energy. Something is happening very fast that might cause you to make a decision. Um, and you have to put yourself first. You're like, oh my God, all of a sudden something happens quick. It could have something to do with love. A new love. Seriously, a new love. And you're conflicted about it. And so you're contemplating about it. And it seems like you have... Um, 
you've taken a lot of small steps in your life and you've accomplished a lot and you have a lot of experiences behind you, which is, it makes you like the whole package for somebody. You know, you've, you've got a nice, comfortable, happy home. You're not struggling with money. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like you, you're like the whole package because you have accomplished a lot in your life. And that's why you're having this time of contemplation over somebody that's in your life. You may have a choice between two people because we have this fire sign. We, you definitely have a choice between more than one person because we have all the signs here. We have fire sign, air sign earth sign and water sign i think your choice though is between a water sign and a fire sign and i think one of them brings you a lot of excitement and passion and um you're really thinking about what you should do and you want to do the right thing but i think there's definitely a a new feeling of um love there could be a new beginning here a new beginning in love and it's happening way too fast for your comfort If this isn't happening right now, it, it could be coming in in the future where there's this new welling of emotion that comes in unexpected, unexpectedly. This is the King of Swords. This is probably you, Gemini. Having clarity of mind, clear thinking. Feeling insecure though. You know, and it's juggling time. It's, it's time of change for you. I think that change is on the horizon. And you're feeling a little bit insecure about it. Even though you clearly know what you want. Which is crazy. Because you do know what you want. You know what you need to do. Because this guy knows what he needs to do. Alright. And sometimes he's even way, way too opinionated. Alright. So maybe you, you, take, you do something hasty. Or you're afraid to do something hasty. You're trying to take a practical approach. That could be it. You know, because you've learned a lot of lessons. And you're trying to keep a balance within your home. And that could be part of the struggle. You know, the struggle is real. You're trying to keep the balance within your home. But your heart is telling you that you want to go one way. And you're just trying to do the right thing. And that's where the conflicts are coming in. And you're feeling very insecure about it. Because you really need to keep the balance within the home. Okay, so here we have you juggling all this stuff, you know, and this is also saying that it's a time of change. You, sh it's, you deserve to be exciting. It is an exciting time. It's a very exciting time. Okay, and you are definitely contemplating on what to do next. And the excitement comes, I think, from a new welling of emotion, a new beginning in love. That's what I think. Oh, all right. So we have a Pisces and we have Pisces up there, too. Okay, and this is about something being over with. So this is an ending. So there's a change on the horizon for you. There's definitely, it. maybe you're ending a relationship or you're contemplating and a relation, ending a relationship because you're interested in somebody else. There's definitely something, there's some hidden forces and you are scared. There is no doubt that you're scared. You're scared about your home, how it's going to imbalance your home and how it's going to affect your family life and, you know, yeah, you're scared of something. But you want to take the practical approach and you want to remain, you want everything to remain balanced. But something is definitely over. Something is over. And it could be a relationship that you were in because change is on the horizon and it's exciting change. You are very, very worried about your home about the comfort in your home about your establishment about how this will affect your family i think you've worked hard on your family and um or your home and you're really really worried about how these changes are going to affect your home life 
Now, if you're single, there's something going on behind the scenes that is going to affect your home life. All right, because this is something going on behind the scenes that's going to affect your home. Okay, going to affect where you live. Maybe somebody is going to move out or somebody is going to move in. But there's definitely something going on that's going to affect your home. And you're feeling like, I don't know, you're feeling insecure about it, but there's no need to. There's unnecessary worry here. There's no need to be worried about it because you have a lot of seeds planted in your favor that you've been working on. You know, you've invested a lot and that's not going to be lost. Sevens are also about faith, okay? This is calling for you to have faith. Have faith in all that you have created, all right? Have faith in who you are. Do the right thing for you, okay? That's what she does, the justice card. She's honest, and she does the right thing for herself. All insecurities behind her. It's like, you know what? Whatever. I know who I am. I know what I can do. I know what I have done. Change is on the horizon. And I think it's it's leaving, I don't know, I hate to say this in readings. I really do. But I think it's a new choice in love. But be careful what you choose. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. All right, even though you may be excited, there may be a lot of attraction and passion and chemistry. Be careful. There we go. Oh, this is a really good one. Came out and flipped over. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's the truth. And I think that a lot of you have already been doing that. It's right over you. So I think, because that's a king or a queen, remember, and that is an air sign, which is the sign of Gemini. So this is something that you have been doing. And if you haven't, it's time. Love yourself first. And that self-respect, you do the right thing for you. That's how you know you love yourself first, when you do the right thing for you. You have to let go of fear. This is fear. You're, you're scared of something. I think you're scared of losing something materialistic. You know? Chemistry. There is. There's a lot of chemistry between you and somebody else. And I think it's new. I think it's a new feeling of chemistry. There's, and that's doing. And you do need to do the right thing for you. If you're feeling this chemistry. If you're feeling this magnetic attraction. You know. You know what I'm going to say. Do the right thing for you. Like she does. Oh. oh, like I said a few minutes ago, I don't like to tell people this, but I do, and I changed it around to reword it. There is leaving somebody behind because there's a new chemistry, there's a new attraction. And this could be emotionally, you might still be, if you're already separated, you might still be emotionally attra uh, attached to somebody, but if you're still with somebody, there could be, like I said, a moving, I think I said that earlier. If I didn't, I was thinking it. Somebody moving out. I think there's a separation on the horizon. And I don't like to tell people this. But I think it leads to a lot of excitement. But we have this ending here that leads to excitement. A lot of it. Oh my God. New love. I love you guys. New love. A new person. I'm talking to my angels and spirits when I say that. I do it all the time. A new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Absolutely no doubt about it. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is, whatever this is, this separation, or your insecurities regarding something phys uh, materialistic, okay? If, you, if you're stuck in a situation because of property or possessions or loss of, 
income from another person or whatever. Don't. That's. You need to control the situation. Let it go. Everything will work out. Trust. Have faith. We talked about that earlier. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. You deserve love. You are lovable. Do the right thing for yourself. I know I've said that a lot during this reading. That's right at the top. Right underneath it is about your happy home. You have made this very wonderful happy home for yourself. Now it's time for love. Real love. Where you are doted on and taken care of and cherished and treasured. Don't forget it. That's what I have, Gemini. Talk to you later.